This festival tells me a different story folks. Because when I see sculptures and read religious excerpts, I see a woman being worshipped, revered and placed on the highest pedestal. I find that woman for this society is the purest ever creation of this nature. If a woman for this society is such a sacred and divine creation, then why still a sister has to tie a rakhi to a brother's wrist to ask him to protect her? I think we have governments and systems and so-called laws and constitution for that. Then why does she demand security and safety? And from what? Let me tell you, from what and why? Because she knows there will always be those lustful eyes staring at her, those monsters who would cross any limits for the pleasure of flesh. They won't even hesitate in killing her if she resists and claim a right on her own body. She knows there are those soul losers hovering around her who would throw acid at her face if she declines to surrender to their manly egos and that same manhood won't deter them from committing such a cowardly act. What an epic hypocrisy. She knows there are those people who would burn her in the name of dowry because they think that a girl is a liability and a burden on this society and expect her parents to pay the compensation for that. Because she knows there are those medieval periods khap panchayats who would get her killed any time just because she wants to marry a guy of her own choice. Because she knows that she will be forced to kill a girl child in her womb since nobody wants a girl to be born in their house. Her physical and mental health will be put at stake by undergoing abortion after abortion till she gives birth to a male child. All these evils have petrified and choked the life out of her since ages. Why would she not tie a rakhi to male's wrist in order to ask him to protect her? What other choice is she left with? Let me tell you, this rakhi is just not a threat but a mirror that shows us a real face that exists beyond the masks of religion and pseudo-morality we have worn. We, the people who butcher each other in the name of religion, have forgotten that the same religion preaches us to equate women with the goddess as well. Where does our religious promptness, jingoism and obedience disappear while raping, harassing and throwing acids on them? Well, on this Raksha Bandhan, I'm not going to just give away some goodies to my sister like every year. This year, instead of promising to protect her, I'm going to encourage her to rage against each and every evil. I'm going to embolden her to empower herself to fight with those evils herself. Because until when will we keep patronizing her and making her feel that she's weak and needs someone to survive? Let's celebrate this Rakhi in the name of spirit of liberation and freedom for women. Nobody, absolutely nobody would come and empower us. It's we, we the people who have to do this ourselves. Rest, the choice is yours.